Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building to your own. Yes, that's my manhole right there. Alright, so it looks like we are entering straight into the carrier character uh, customization screen. So we are actually going to have a look. We are going to have a male nomad. Uh, most likely... My experience from Wildlands was that they put a lot more effort into the male um, voice actor. So I'm going to go with that. We can have the... Not really the silly... We can go with the generic one. Blue eyes. I do kind of want him to have a bit of uh, rougher hair, maybe a, a bit longer. I uh, don't, don't really know how much uh, facial hair I want him to have. I would like him to have a bit of similar like me, but it's either too much or too little here. So I'm just going to give him a goatee. And more of a brown hair color. And maybe some scarring from his time in Bolivia, perhaps. Not really sure what. We'll, we'll run with that. And we'll start with that appar appearance. And save and start. Okay, so it looks like the mission is a bust. With uh, choppers going down, and we are currently busy falling down from trees. That's gotta hurt.
Alright, so at least it looks like our buddy had his... Still got his pistol on him. So we might have to grab that. So, looks like to be a fun start, doesn't it? We seem to be somewhat injured at the moment. So, the first thing we are going to do is actually we are going to check our appearance here. Uh, and we're gonna check our gear. And here we have a little bit of a nice thing. This is called a skin override. Meaning that once we've equipped stuff, we have a skin override, meaning that even if we equip other stuff, uh, what we pick here is going to be the dominant part. However, we, we don't really have that much stuff. We can also select different colors here, but right now we don't really need to pick different colors on that one. We have the Nomad Pants here, and... Uh, let's see if we can't change the colors in some way. Nah. And ranger boots. And just a standard earpiece, so he can at least try. Uh, just standard Oakleys. I don't think any glasses would have actually survived the crash, so... We're, we're gonna skip. And this I love! Thank you fucking Ubisoft! Thank you! We can deselect our backpacks. I mean, we can choose not to show a backpack. Just pick none, and we will not be carrying a backpack. And I love that so much. That is just amazing. We've been asking for it for... We, oh, uh, with F we edit the color. So we can actually have a plaid t-shirt, and that looks absolutely shit. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go with a olive drab t-shirt, or maybe... I mean, you can basically s set me... Uh, when it comes to stuff... Oh, look, Danish camo. Uh, the M05 is either Danish or Finnish, I can't actually remember, so... Uh, that looks just absolutely atrocious compared to the multicam pants, so... I'm actually gonna change that, and we're gonna grab the t-shirt... And sadly, we don't seem to be able to do the red solid. We have to buy that at the local shop. So we'll just go with um, we'll go with a shimag. Uh, that I think we're gonna make that the shimag could be in olive drab. And the top here, edit color, also an olive wrap, so we have that. Uh, that looks pretty good, so far. Uh, we can also pick uh, patches, but we don't really have any f anything to put them on. So we'll just pick the GR Skull patch right there. As for night vision goggles, we haven't, we haven't unlocked any yet. But for close quarters combat, we have like the Task J. And now I have to check this list, please tell me- YES! I think they added the no. They, uh, it looked so similar to Thatcher's knife, but so f I'm fairly certain that Thatcher's knife is going to be in this sooner or later. I'm fairly confident it's going to be in this. So from the get-go, I would say that the character customization screen is um, up to. Up to scratch from what I it's basically it is what I expect uh, let's see uh, we're gonna sh see about maybe changing the color on this one as well black solid played we can even have played plate carriers that's just absolutely ridiculous even a solid white one if we sh want to but I'm actually gonna go with the digital tiger on that one uh, actually, we might do the same color for color for the pants, but on the uh, app. Oh wait, there, there, there they were. Right, 
for some reason my pants doesn't really want to uh, change color. So we'll, we'll just go with this and change the uh, color of the vest back to just plain black. It looks better that way. So, uh, head protection, we only got either Nomad's cap or nothing. So, and now you can see we look like that. So, we are going to try and heal our injury here. Uh, so we can actually get moving. Currently we are in uh, the... We are noted as having severe injury. And now we only have a minor injury. And uh, all injuries seem to be healed at the same time. So right now we have a 45 pistol with a suppressor. So far I'm reading acceptable frame rates, around 60 fr uh, frames per second, considering my rig and the fact that my processor is a total bottleneck. I'm thrilled with that. We're going to stay low and try not to attract too much tension from the bad guys. Because the bad guys are bad guys and they might want to hurt us. And we don't want them to do that. So we're going to stay low and hope that there are simply are no bad guys here. But as, I, as you can see, the uh, fact that we don't have a backpack, I mean... Oh, crap. There's someone there. Whoever it is, just frag the bunker. Okay, so somebody basically just fragged the bunker just to be safe. Uh, I have visual on at least one. Scratch that. Two tangos. They seems to be... Uh, one less to worry about. Two less to worry about. Let's see if they had any weapons we can use. Advancing. No, just scale credits. And some ammunition on that part. So at least we got 36. Let's pop into this bunker. They may have fragged it, but that doesn't mean there's not in here that we can use. Ah, uh, crap. Looks like there was actually a ghost in here, so... No idea if grenade was the thing that killed her, but uh, we took our friendly full cash please from that. So, we got a frag... We got three frag grenades now, so alto for the wheel, and we now have the ability to use frag grenades. Optimization in the beta looks very good. So, I'd, I can't really complain on that part. Don't want to either, because if a beta runs at 60 FPS, then that means the optimization in the end product might actually be decent. So, thank you for that. Now, there's going to be one more thing I'm going to be very nitpicky about. That is going to be the ability to carry weapons. If I can deselect one of my weapons, Shit. then breakpoint is going to be a clear buy for me. So we're going to move up and see if we can investigate the pressure. We are very exposed here. He's been shot. No way to go. All right, so we need to keep investigating the crash sites uh, while avoiding the enemy in route. Going to be tricky, but nothing that a ghost can't handle. We're gonna keep looking into these bunkers. I also... Yes, we got... Oh, I like that. We don't actually have to... If you notice, we didn't actually have to press any buttons. 
or we didn't really have to uh, do anything. All we had to do was get close by them and we picked it up. That's actually a nice thing and I have to say that I approve. I wholeheartedly approve of that system. Because it saves time, it doesn't me it doesn't make it uh, tedious to just go and press the use button all the time. Uh, we just picked it up, and that was nice. Two tangos. We also have a, a cache up here. We might want to uh, pick that up first. Okay, so we found a helmet. A war sport helmet. So here we have the uh, loadout, and as you can see, we can now equip the helmet. But since we already uh, had the skin override, as you can see here, uh, we got the item, but that is level seven. Uh, I I don't really care much for the system here that basically forces you to. Uh, uh, oh, use loot looter mechanics, but okay. So they think. Um, think we're gonna find anything alive out here, hiding in the yes, something is alive here, and that is not you, my friend. Keep it going. Next objective is straight ahead, but there might be more tangos than route. So either way, as you noticed, uh, you still have to pick. You have to pick up gear. It works differently than in Wildlands. I'm not a big fan of the system, but if they can pull it off well, I might just. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna complain about it because I might come, because I uh, reserve the right to complain about just about anything. But uh, as long as it doesn't make it too much like the division. I'm not going to mind terribly, because I didn't really like The Division 2. Okay, we got a heavy gunner tack vest out of that. So, uh, we're going to check where our actual... Where our in... Which one? Yeah, th there it is. So, we're basically switching it out for a heavy gun attack vest, but as you can see, since skin override is active, and the skin override is basically what saves the system for me. If I couldn't be able to dress up my operator like a Barbie doll, then I would really not care at all for the system. But since uh, Ubisoft very kindly makes sure to take two tangos down, but there are more of them, and those two must have heard the shots. Too bad, we will never hear what would have made him goddamn amazed. Looks like we picked up a new pistol, the 40 P45C. We're not heading that way, rather we will be... Uh, Moving slowly up to uh, the high point here, and the next helicopter. And here we have the skills, we can either choose the field medic, uh, we can choose uh, assault, we can choose sharpshooter, or we can choose the panther. Basically, sharpshooter is pretty obvious, they are the snipers. Uh, panther is also pretty self-evident, they are the close support uh, class who basically use uh, weapons up close and then we have the assault which is basically just going loud and as you can see you can also see the class items here the med kit which is a hand deployable device for healing injuries and gain extra health uh, they can also uh, faster revive care about is faster can self revive 
Uh, the assault have extra health and bonuses with assault rifles and shotguns. Um, the panther have cloaking spray, bonus stealth, faster movement speed. And suppressors on handguns and submachine guns do not reduce damage. So I'm actually going to uh, pick the panther for this play session because as you can see that has so far been... There also seems to be a bunch of basic basic abilities here. But uh, basically our first point went to acquiring the panther skill. But I've always played Ghost Recon single player as stealthy as I can so... We're going to uh, run with it. Have some fun. There's got to be somebody. We can also find another first aid pack there, and as you can see, we just pick it up seamlessly. Looks like cutscenes take a bit of, of a while to load, but I'm fine with that. Stormcloud 1 1, this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! Looks like the cutscene took a while to load, but... Walker? Shall we, Weaver? Alright, so Weaver is a goner, and I think we Walker. need to hit the deck the before these guys see us. So we're going to exfiltrate, get out of here. Not a big fan of the enemy levels either, but I can kind of see why they went in that direction. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. But uh, as far as when it, uh, like I said, th my main con oh fuck, we're in the fire. We're sta literally standing in the fire here. My main concern with the um, loot level system and everything like that was one that it would impact gameplay to an annoying degree and two that it would mean that we no longer had to care about um, uh, how our character looked but as i've stated earlier um i'm perfectly fine with the skin override system so it doesn't really matter on that score uh, what I don't like about it is that I felt the Wildland system actually worked fairly fine, where different archetypes provided the challenge rather than trying to make make some some uh, some of them be more difficult just due to skill skill level. But as long as you shoot them in the head, they die just all right. But these these fellows are. Basically just your average grunt, so they're not going to be much of a trouble. Hopefully the enemy might think that the previous guys I've killed was killed by the guys at that helicopter, so we are going to... Yeah, I see them. Dead ahead. Uh, two of them. We're going to make sure that we meet out their just rewards for... Ambushing my mates like that. As you can see, there's also a prone camo system, but right now we... Hand goes down. Move up. Okay, so apparently the panther wants... Uh, the panther demands us to kill the enemy more closely. So they're basically like Nelson, engage the enemy more closely kind of stuff. Of course, I can't talk about how my experience during the... Oh, fuck. Stay down. 
Frag out! We're using up a lot of ammunition here. About fucking time. That was kind of annoying. Not unexpected, but still very annoying. At least I like the fact that I get punished for... I get punished for being uh, uncareful, but... I still think that in regards to... Um, that I should... Uh, ah, never mind. Okay, so we need to be very careful here. I'm going to just check my inventory so that I actually do have... Okay, so basically the technique is... Oh, we still have our skill points, the basic ones. So we can have up close and personal, which is reload speed, uh, night vision. Uh, which is, seems fairly decent. And of course the parachute. So we're going to acquire the night vision, obviously. The night vision actually looks pretty good. No, don't underestimate the ghosts. Because the ghosts will come and kill you. So we got some more 45 ammo. I do, however, wish that we could, just like in Wildlands, just pick up, pick up uh, whatever weapons these guys are dropping. But considering the new, I just smoked a ghost. no, you did not smoke a ghost. A ghost smoked you. Questions? All right, so we're gonna flank left no this time around. One down. But the rest of them heard the shot. And they found a dead body. But we are going we are going to flank left into the swamp. Bag him. That went a lot better. So let's check the tutorial. Each class can progress to rank 10. So it doesn't see, look like uh, you have to uh, have to commit to a specific class. It looks like you are actually fairly good in when it comes to uh, leveling up each class and switching between them. And if that's the case, then that is also a fairly nice addition to the class system because it would have been annoying if you uh, basically had to had to switch but oh look I have quite a lot of uh, friends online here we have Natalie Aussie from uh, from the Ubisoft star players lots of Ubisoft star players here actually So we're going to switch to the Han Oakley Lightweight Gloves, and we are going to get going.
towards that shop. Oh, there's also a box there, so... Uh, but we are also going to, uh, of course, use the bandage. Oh, we don't actually need that. I was kind of... I f was thinking that... Oh, a train. Let's pick it up. Looks like we got a designated marksmanship rifle. So, let's add that into our loadout. Sadly, it doesn't seem like we can actually adjust this more than... We can't remove it now. I w had hoped that Ubisoft Paris would have listened and added an ability for us to remove equipped weapons. But it doesn't look like they've, they went that route. Uh, sorry to see that, because I think that would have been an excellent... Uh, an excellent way for them to uh, increase uh, the personality and everything like that. Your personal choice. But I... As long as I'm not forced to carry two guns, I'm fine with it. And uh, either way, I'm also hoping that this is something they can fix up to the release. Because I can't imagine that the ability for us to deselect a weapon is a difficult one to implement. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? 5x5, five five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the White Rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. That can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out. Okay, so we got a destination. Nice. Okay, so we are heading... Oh, wait. There are tangos up ahead. Lots of them, too. I think it might be safer just to let them pass. Not to try to engage them. They seem to have, have abandoned a bunch of vehicles up ahead, so... Uh, moving and t securing those vehicles might be the best, our best option. Nice! We have uh, a switchable scope here. I don't know if this rifle is semi-automatic or bolt action, but I would be guessing bolt action, so... E even if this gun can do a lot of... In fact, let's go have a look at the gunsmith while we're still uh, w while we are on the subject. So edit in gunsmith and DMR small magazine. We can actually switch to a standard magazine. We can also change to a standard muscle in rather than a suppressor. And a standard dual sight, nice. As you can see, the weapon have uh, levels, have levels and everything like that. Not really a fan of that, but there's not much I can do about it at, at the time. Uh, we can also change different color schemes, so each each uh, part of the gun can be painted in a different color. That is a vast, nice improvement that I like that they've implemented. But I'm still trying to remove the suppressor from that gun. Because right now I don't want it. In fact, they're pretty close by, so let's see if we can't make this a nice party. The fact that they don't see us is frankly hilarious. Nice! Up. 
Yeah. That was kind of sloppy. If not the grenade. The grenade was very fun with seeing seeing my their enemies just basically scrambling when a grenade landed in their midst. So th that was fun. I think I'm gonna grab this car. Thank you. Whee! Though there seems to be two enemies with a car straight ahead. And now there are no more enemies straight ahead, but there, there seems to be a... a Case up here, and I think we want, might want to. Oh, we picked up a pistol from one of one of the. Uh... One of those guys. So let's see what's in the case. Just a bunch of scale credits. That's not all bad. We can get weapons for this. Weapons or gear for that matter. And let's grab the other car here. And keep driving. Let's uh, check the map here, once the map has loaded in. <sighs> so let's have a look. Yes, road straight ahead. Just going to confirm I'm still on the correct road. That I am. Hello! At least two of them were run over, but uh, they'll just have to assume that was made by their friends and compatriots who were in a real hurry. So we're gonna keep rolling upwards. Right, we have arrived. And we need to enter the cave. And once again, it seems like the uh, takes a bit of a time to load in. Come on, you can you, you can let me come. You can let me play now.
this is getting ridiculous. And I mean really ridiculous. A cutscene shouldn't take this long to load. I mean, I, I can understand if they are trying to load the rest of it behind that, but uh, this is getting ridiculous. Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. Just a question. Whatever this place is, you can assume it's got a lot of warm bodies, a lot of, you know, electronics, stuff like that. How come the drones haven't found it? I mean, you would assume that there would be a huge... Oh, come on! Now you have to actually load Everon as well. So that loading... I mean, I'm on, a, I'm on an SSD here. Okay, so we got a couple of other ghosts here. And those are other, other players. So... We will be uh, having a look here. What is this place? Looks like a refugee camp. And here is why Everon might not be the best idea. And that is everyone standing in a circle like this. So let's talk to this guy. If all the um, cutscenes are gonna take this much loading, I'm going to be severely annoyed. This is getting severely ridiculous. A, an entire round of Rainbow Six Siege doesn't have this fucking loading town. And now you keep telling me... I mean, it's it's not some kind of but, button bug either. This is a loading time for a cutscene. I mean, I haven't had much trouble so far. And now suddenly we get... Are you boys alright or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? For now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? 
Let's try to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Not gonna lie, the f oh look, here are some very, very familiar faces. In case you didn't know, most people around this table are, uh, I'm gonna see it, nah, too, too bad, it's, it's not active. I was hoping that NVIDIA Ansel would be uh, active, but it's not, so. I'm basically just going to have to be very creative with my camera angle here. So basically everyone around this table is on my friends list. And if I could pick, I would very much like these people to be the only people you see in Everon. Because right now you, um, you basically get news. Half of your soldiers are dead and uh, there's a bunch of problems and everything like that. And then you see like 50 guys in the social hub. And I think th this is the guy we need to talk to. This old joker. Let's see how long it takes for the uh, cutscene to load this time. We can make a game of it. We can. I can pick up my phone. I can. Uh, I can do the countdown. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, hold my man. He's still alive. And you, curse you, Ubisoft Paris. He better remain that way. No man. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. <sighs> I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Hey, you just 
just relax for now. We'll take care of it, all right? Yeah, the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Right, there should be a store around here somewhere, so we should be looking at... Yeah, right over here. I don't... Yes, I want to shop. Thank you. Preferably I want to sell my uh, sniper rifle. I mean, loading time so far seems to be absolutely atrocious, and I can't tell if it's my computer that's completely doing a fucking breakdown, or if it's this is all server-side. Take your time. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we have a couple of pistols. Uh, Weapons on demand. So right now I'm very curious to see what they've added. So they've added the UMP, which is nice. UMP is always a nice gun. M4, MP7, TAC-50. Bunch of vehicles that I couldn't honestly care less about. Attachments. Oh, if, the, if this is the money we got, we actually do have... A fair amount of uh, stuff, so not all of this is cheap. So we can have a look through all this, what is cheap and affordable. But it appears like most of this stuff is currently not affordable, affordable for us. Here we have a couple. So basically, to uh, oh god, the store is is basically randomized too. I'm not really sure. I I'll just have to work. So currently, these are some of the weapons they have: the M82 50 cal rifle, the Scorpion Evo 3. Uh, depending on I don't really know what's the difference between weapon on demand and just weapons. I think I can pretty much assume that weapons here means weapons like... yeah. So I'm gonna buy the European Evo for myself. I don't know if I actually complete that purchase, we'll see. I don't really know why, but everything just basically slowed down to a to a crawl here. Like I said, I can't I can't tell you if this is server side or if it's my computer or what's going on here. Uh, so we bought the Evo, and we're putting it at 1, because I don't want to add a second weapon slot. Uh, we are also going to open that in our gunsmith. And see what can be adapted or not. We don't actually have all that much. We do actually have the uh, Comp 4 M4. Uh, so we do have a decent for it at least so I'm going to go back to the shop see about some attachments maybe some gear 
we have a decent... Also, it looks like we can sell stuff, which looks let's nice. Let's get you suited up. So let's sell everything we don't need, which is basically every weapon we don't have currently equipped. And then we need some more attachments for our scorpion. Let's get you set up with what you need. There's also a fairly decent assault rifle there, but I don't think I want to play with that just yet. So uh, we have a bunch of different sights here: angled full grip, sights, digital sights, micro T sights. So we bought uh, one of those sights. We can. Oh, look, an extended. The Scorpion, nice. Uh, I'm based on the barrel grenade launcher for the Scorpion, why not? Uh, we're going to basically just spend this... M we have a l really lot of credits here, I don't really know how and why, and right now I don't really care. ACCS -C site, I think that's French site actually, not sure. Uh, LMG extended magazine, so... It's fairly easy to see when stuff have disappeared from when stuff have been purchased also because it's it's basically just disappears the in, the entire list as a whole, so that's nice. Here we also see able to buy different colors. That can be used both on clothing and guns, I suppose. So I think I'm going to uh, <clears throat> buy as many of these colors as I can. And basically just have a lot of fun with it. So Kaki. Titan. And the Olive Grey. We also have rolled up sleeves shirt, which is, actually looks fairly nice. And uh, we have, um, let's see here, A tags. Let's see if there's some of the scuba pants that really look tempting, does it? Uh, we could get these boots. I might have. Accidentally bought two of them now. Some nice gloves. Alright, so let's go to the loadout and uh, fix everything before we start the next mission. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff here. Oh, we are. We have 11 skill points. That's fair. That's pretty nice. Let's switch out these for the Blackhawks and the Ranger boots to. Yeah, we managed to buy a bit too much of those. So we're going to edit this one in the Gunsmith. We are going to add the SMG Extended Magazine. We're going to make sure there is an SMG Suppressor on there. Apex 15. We have a the MH1 site, and for the underbarrel rail, it doesn't seem like we got any of the compatible full grips. So 
So here we have it. Looking decently. So we're going to switch the paint. The uh, color preset overall is going to be uh, Coyote Brown. With uh, the barrel being black, the muscle being black, the rail being black, the scope being black, and of course the underbarrel being black. So that, that looks fairly nice. So I'm going to enter the shop one last time, and I'm going to see about getting... I mean, I like death metal as much as the next guy, but hearing it n now is just grating to my ears. That is not something I play in the background, in case you were wondering. No pressure. Take your time. So, uh... We needed something like this. Oh god, it's a CTR. Let's just get as much as we can while we actually have the money for it. So we got three rocket launchers, intel grenades, projection rations, dexterity rations. I'm gonna check skills once I've finished with my gun. And yes, welcome to my world where... <sighs> this is getting really annoying. Changing gunsmith. And we can either add the STFG angled grip or the shift angled grip. I'm gonna try with the shift one and we'll see how that goes. Well, I'm not really sh we'll just go with that one then. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Still wish I could alter the stock and the barrel length, but we'll roll with this so far. I also like how it remembered my pick in in regards to color on that particular part. So this is a pretty nice two-tone rifle. Well done, Ubisoft. The while I would say that the uh, while I would say that the um, gunsmith have not gotten all the stuff it hey, actually I, needs. I, I get we have to fight Sentinel, but I just don't see how it goes down. What do you mean? Well, the Skell employees, they're kids. Tech kids, they can't mount any kind of resistance. The outcasts are fighting, but they came here the same idealistic, tech-obsessed kids. Sentinel is a trained army. It's like sheep trying to fight wolves. That's why they need us. Yeah, but are we so different? We're farmers, not warriors. We can hunt, sure, but hunting humans is a little different. Well, we better learn, because they'll need us. The only way to win is if we all stand together. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds like scale idealism. See, this is a problem. Observe. Be very careful and look at Nomad's arm. I know the tutorial is the tutorial is currently trying to hide this from you. But I'm basically just going to open it so that we can put it away. Look at the clipping issues. I mean, just look at the clipping issues.
All right, so we'll need to talk to him about finding a new way off the island. No man, how are you? I'm missing the comforts of home. Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. The fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed-out old jeep. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a good soldier and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. Sad we lost touch over the years and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. Yeah, I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Grove's Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. It's near Gordon Slough over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it. Let's see if we can grab any other missions from that guy. I mean, while we're talking... Us and all the other ghosts. I mean, I was fairly certain that the main mission was the thing I wanted to talk to him about. So let's see if we get that cutscene. Well, it should be an important cutscene because now it's loading again. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltec's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. Really? You're doing this to me? You are actually doing this to me? This is the same cutscene having to load twice. I'm just gonna refill my glass of water. I have wireless headsets. And I might even consider some lunch. Consider anything. Just to not have to deal with these endless loading times that are frankly starting to get to me, in case you didn't notice. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. Mm. 
I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Right? Stuff. We got something to do. Let's just have the main tool and we should be out of here. Hey, I, I, I get we have to fight Sentinel, but I just don't see how it goes down. What do you mean? Well, the Skell employees, they're kids. Tech kids. They can't mount any kind of resistance. The outcasts are fighting, but they came here the same idealistic, tech-obsessed kids. Sentinel is a trained army. It's like sheep trying to fight wolves. That's why they need us. Yeah, but are we so different? We're farmers, not warriors. We can hunt, sure, but hunting humans is a little different. Well, we better learn, because they'll need us. The only way to be you heard from Samuel? Not since last week. I'm sure everything's fine. Fine. Last time I saw him, let's just get out of here and stop the Well, that doesn't mean anything. Way out should be this way, if I'm not completely mistaken, and I am. And now we can't get out because I lost my way. So we have a couple of guys here still looking at me. Wondering why I haven't really gotten away yet. So let's just go and get it out of here. Now it's going to be a little bit of an interesting uh, twitch here because you kind of ex when you see people inside a social hub like this, uh, you kind of ex expect to see them outside the social hub as well. But once you cross this, they're gone, and hopefully that will improve my loading time somewhat. From now on, guided mode is turned off by default. You have to figure out your objectives. Turn on the guided mode for any time for a more straightforward experience. I like the fact that they have this. That uh, you can basically turn this off if you like. I must say that this is actually a not really nice thing. So use available intels, find hints of the location of the mission. So, like I said, I, I'm completely on board with that, but right now I don't really feel like it. So I'm going to grab the helicopter. I mean, by any stretch of the imagination, we should really be shot down, but... So we are going to head to... Uh... Let's see what kind of missions there might be here. Main missions. So we're going to pin that and find a way off the island. Yes, I'm using the mouse to maneuver, but for some reason the... Oh, don't tell me. It's... Uh, I'm gonna see if uh, they think I have a... 
have a uh, controller. Not complaining. Though the peninsula, or so, rather the islands of Aurora, seems to be rather large ones. So we have to make do with just looking down upon it. And we'll take our way to the next objective and see if we can find a way off the island. Cool, so I can understand that Breakpoint is more of an experience where you might want to be on the ground. But right now I feel more like flying. Takes less time. But I have to wonder, where are, are the annoying drones that shot us down last time? Wouldn't they be, like, patrolling and watching for helicopters? I'm gonna set her down on the big, nice strip right ahead, and uh, should do fine. I can't really fault the game performance for taking a hit when... Uh, We're flying so high up and everything like that. But I do wonder how it comes that the helicopter got so much damage. I didn't set her down that hard. So we're moving. Okay, so we <laughs> removed the suppressor. We got some pineapples too, nice. Oh, seagulls. So we have arrived at the location called Freeport. Now we'll just have to find someone here to talk to. There also seems to be a case. Dad? D don't hurt us. Please. You're looking in the wrong direction, boy. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox, and this is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back.
Well, that didn't work. Shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover. Let's see what they got here. An ASR MK7. But we might have more bad guys incoming. Okay, so we do have a drone. Nice. Okay, so they're still standard boogies in a car. But they don't seem to have dismounted just yet, so... Um, We got it. Let's see what they have. If they have more information. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, 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 a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want What's go with home. the camera focus? Too, Listen. You have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. What's with the wrong with the camera focus here? Oh, well. Are you fucking kidding me? What the actual hell is going on here? <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous! I mean, that was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, why didn't they just pause the game while the... While the... Uh, Cutscene was going on. I mean, how hard can that be? Let's see uh, what other objectives we might have here. Uh, destroy the drone transport. Destroy the Azrael. We get a G28 for that. That's nice. We get a Tavor for that. Improved weapon parts. Improved weapons parts. So if we're heading there, we might need to get a vehicle or something, because that's pretty far away. It also looks like every province has... Uh, ...has different um, numbers that will tell you what kind of... Let's see if there's... There's any enemies left down here. If so, I want to finish them off before I do anything else. No, but it looks like the chests have respawned. Or there was another chest I never saw to begin with. So, out of everything, we got the enhanced field cap. But there also looks like there's a uh, box up here in the tower. The 
Just a bunch of scale credits. Alright, so let's finish finish that uh, task with the dog tags first. And then we'll return to Everon and then I'll probably end the stream for now. Suspicious noise. Yes, because a car is a suspicious noise indeed. Enemy patrol, dead ahead. And enemy patrol doesn't seem to worry about that much about a lone car driving on the roads here. West Virginia, take me home. We can investigate the ancient harbor at, at the very least. But it looks like most of the buildings here are wrecked. So we are currently here and we need to get all the way over there. I think I would just want to get back to my car. Oh wait, there's a lot of enemy enemy presence up here. Okay, so it looks like we have... Yeah. Equip suppressor. Man down. Let's get a f couple of grenades. Push, push, push! Tango's down. Goes down. Eat the pickings. Careful on the side. Right hand. Clear. Oh, looks like we got a G28. We didn't even have to complete any missions for it. Just had to pick it up. So we got an AK-34. Oh, look! Hostages! Greetings, stranger. Okay, I don't want attack 50, I want the other thing. Greetings. Let's check the tutorial and see what's going on there. So attachments. There are some attachments we apparently can get. Same thing with weapons. There seems to be a bunch of weapons that we can get as long as we have the intelligence. I mean, I, I really like the idea. And then we have the who sank. Then we have this I like. I absolutely like this. This is wonderful. You can see here that we have different investigations where we need to find a bunch of... Uh, bunch of uh, 
investigations, like we need, and we need to find everything. This I like. So that that looks good. But why can't I pick the bio? Could you help me? I'm in need of some info. Now you know the whole story. Thanks, stranger. All right, let's grab the case, and <laughs> looks like we got quite a lot of guns from this. Oh, very ancient case, and of course there's scale credits in it. Why wouldn't there be? A Dragonov and SVD six three. And some investigation. Sunken Clipper Bay Bivouac. So we can gather that. And now we actually got that as a fast travel point, which is kinda nice. So far, I'm seeing improvements across the board on this game, and I, I, um, I still think there are parts I want improved, but I don't actually mind some of the things I thought I would have problems with as much as I thought I would. Sure, some of them still annoy me to, to, to hell, but... Last helmet? If they added a photo mode, it doesn't seem to be online, sadly, which is kind of sad because I liked the photo mode in Ghost Recon previously. I wonder if there's a boat there we can actually use. It would be nice if to use the boat. That way we can get to our objective far quicker than uh, we otherwise would. But look like also look like to be two idiots right by that car. So at least we have a car if everything else fails. Oh, uh, there's only one problem: drink water to eliminate fatigue. Use your water near clean water to refill it. But this has to be seawater, so we don't want to drink seawater. But let's get on that boat. At least certain this boat was in Watch Dogs 2. Oh, and we can we can actually shoot from it too. Uh, right now, and the boat is of course called the Odyssey. We'll head straight for the objective. And that reduced travel time significantly. I think we might even have a biv bivouac right here that we just discovered. Yeah. So we were good on that. 
And we beached the boat, so hopefully no one else can use it for the time being. Contact. Be quiet. Reload and keep moving. Fuck, 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 fuck. We don't want to fall down that, so we'll basically use the bridge instead. But it was far too close that I was actually going to fall down that, so let's go this way. Nice river. And I have to say I like the different different thing biotomes, especially this this has some nice character to it. Looks like a junk pile. <laughs> and some intelligence, right? on it. Let's see what we can investigate. Oh! Uh, pardon, who are you? You're in my personal space. <laughs> okay, a uh, drone. I would... S yes. We've been compromised by a drone. Move. See what we get. An A two, nice. Russian cigarette pack. Jammed. There's something here. The wolves? You know, wolves, Walker should have trained you a lot better. Because you aren't fit to hold the candle to either of the Wildland Squad. Thank you for giving me more supplies. 